We're in the process of moving almost 4,000 federally endangered mussels of two different species from the Allegheny River to here at Big Darby Creek. Um, yesterday we put pit tags, passive integrated transponders on all 4,000 of those so that we can monitor them into the future. Today we're going to be releasing them into four different sites within Battelle Darby Creek Metro Park. Um, there's already over 6,000 of these that we've moved in previous years, so this should bring the total to about 10,000 federally endangered species within this park system. The area that these come from is underneath a bridge that's going to be replaced, and for reasons that nobody's really quite sure of, these two species are doing remarkably well there. There are tens of thousands of them. There are so many that uh, we felt, in Pennsylvania felt, that we could actually remove some of these mussels from that population without harming it and farm them out to other states with the, the hope of bolstering other populations. It's important to preserve the diversity of mussel species here because it's part of a national heritage, but in addition to that, um, they filter the water, they're uh, indicators of very good uh, environmental health and river water quality, and it has been proven that a greater diversity of species improves the assemblages of all other sorts of macroinvertebrates and uh, fauna that live in the river as well. This would be about our sixth year. Um, we, On the average, we're recovering about a third of the individuals that we put out. Now, that may not seem like a lot to, to some people, but that's actually very good for a mark and recapture for an animal, particularly after five, six years. Uh, in some places, we're, we're finding almost all the individuals we put out. In other places, we're getting very few, which is what, pretty much what we expected. You know, some of these things are, are predated by muskrats or washed downstream out of our study area or, or whatever, and they're never seen again. But the idea is we sort of super saturate this area with these animals, and uh, enough of them will survive to take off and start reproducing.